a little slack for the oil to come out. And this is the spot for the chain tightener to go on there. Just like so. Before I do that, I have to mount on the guard because those screws go in through the guard and the guard is what holds the screws from turning. Two bolts go in those hex pockets. Yeah, I have a nut on one of the screws. Now it's captured. Can't really get away from me too well. Put the other nut in. Let it bolt in. And there we go. The big question is, did I put it on going in the right direction? Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. Loosen the chain up. It's engaged in the bar. That's a little too loose. Need to make sure that I have the wires secured correctly. The grommet needs to go into that opening there. The two wires need to pass through those two openings and then into those notches. This bar comes down and pinches those wires into the notches and make sure that they're held securely. That way, even if you pull on this wire, you're not gonna be able to strip it out of the body.
Well, that's got the garden held securely. I ended up having to glue the whole thing together with JB Weld and actually glue it to the body of the saw with some JB Weld. This weak point here, there just wasn't enough to grab it. So by gluing this chunk to the body, I think it's gonna hold quite well. It's been sitting about three days. So giving a little bit more time, it's gonna get even more solid. Last thing that needs to be repaired is the cap. 